Okay, today I have something super awesome to talk to you guys about. I think you're gonna love it, especially those of you who are rocking an older iOS device. If you're one of the few people out there like myself that still uses iOS 6 on one of the devices you have laying around the house, or perhaps you followed my downgrade tutorial while it was still applicable, and you got iOS 6 on your iPad or iPhone, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the most out of iOS 6. So if you're jailbroken, you're really, really gonna love this. Before I get into how you do this, I wanna give a huge shout out to Stubber T. Vill. His YouTube channel is linked down below. He's helped walk me through how to do what I'm about to walk you all through, and it's gonna be an awesome process. But please go down and hit that subscribe button on his channel. He only has like 130 subscribers, so let's get him a few more. He really deserves it after all the work that he's done helping me make this video possible. Mentioning that, Real quick, before we dive into the last little bit, one more rule of housekeeping. I have a new service called Discord. If you wanna follow me, the link for Discord is in the description and you can jump down there and follow me there and chat with me and we can just hang out. So anyway, Discord, the app looks like this. Go ahead, jump down in the description. You will find a link to Discord, Instagram, and my website all down there. So just jump down there and check it out. All right, with all those announcements out of the way, let's dive right into the video. In this video, I wanna show you how to get the iconic iOS five and below YouTube app, not only working on iOS 6, but working on any device that you might have that has this app either pre-installed or if you have a device that doesn't have it, how to get it installed on your device and also get it working completely natively again in 2019. This app is awesome and I couldn't have done it without a few city of repos and some help from some people. So I wanna go ahead and show you how to get this working. Number one, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hop into Cydia. So if you have your iOS device jailbroken, go ahead and hop into Cydia. If it's not jailbroken, check out a tutorial for the version of iOS that you have and go ahead and jailbreak. Once you're jailbroken, you're gonna dive into Cydia and we're gonna add a source. I'm gonna show you what source to add here. Go to sources and you're gonna go down to this one here. We've got one called IPG's Beta Cydia Repo by Invox iPlay Games. I wanna give a huge shout out to him because without him, this video would not be possible and what I'm showing you today would not be possible. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and add this link uh, right here below. I'm gonna have that link down there in the description for you, but that is the link you wanna add. That'll again be in the description, but you want this beta account here. Inside of the beta account, you will go to the entertainment section and find something called Classic YouTube App. Go ahead and install Classic YouTube App, and then you'll need to go back into Tweaks and scroll down and install Tube Fixer for iOS. Once both of those apps are installed, we're gonna move on to the next thing that we need to do. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is go to this Google Cloud Platform website. Again, I'll go ahead and drop a link down below to it for you so that you can get everything you need down below. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project in here. So you probably won't have a project. I've already made a project, but I'm gonna show you how to make a project. So you're gonna hop in here and you're gonna name your project whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you name it, just go ahead and name your project something. So I'm gonna name it demo for the sake of this video and we're gonna go ahead and jump into the dashboard here. Once we're inside, you're gonna click on a little hamburger icon up here in the top corner. Click on that hamburger icon and you will see something called APIs and services. You're going to jump into that and go to library. Once you're in the library, scroll down until you see YouTube data API version number three. All right, so once you click on that, you're gonna go ahead and hit the manage option and you're going to jump into here and add the API, shoot down to credentials and add yourself a pair of credentials. It'll give you a key and you'll be able to go ahead and add that key. You're gonna jump into settings and you're going to scroll all the way down to YouTube Fixer. Tap YouTube Fixer and you'll enter the key that you have gotten off of the website I just showed you and you can turn on custom API key. Once you've turned on the custom API key, 
I have decided to go ahead and respring just to make sure everything works. So hit the respring option or respring however you respring, but I have it built into the notification center. And then when you jump into the YouTube app, everything should be working just fine. Just like it did back in the old days, you can scroll through the featured list as well as the ability to search for videos. If you tap on a video, it'll jump right into one and let you watch whatever video it is that you wanna watch. So here in a second, you'll see it'll load up just like the good old days and you'll be watching that video here in just a second. And boom, just like that, we have iOS 6's YouTube app working once again. And even the best part of it, you can jump over here and have background audio on iOS 6. Again, I just wanna shout out, I'm gonna show you how to fix the iOS YouTube app, but it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Invox iPlay Games, who developed all of these. These are his repos, these are his tweaks. So I wanna show you just how to fix the App Store version of YouTube. Now this both is thanks to him. It wouldn't be possible without him. So a huge, huge shout out to him. Go and download his repos. Go and support him in whatever way you can because he absolutely deserves it. Again, this would not be possible without him. The first thing that we're gonna do in order to fix App Store apps is jump into Cydia and add another repo. It's basically the same, again, like always, it's gonna be down in the description for you so that you can jump in and add it. But we're gonna be going into this repo here and then what we're gonna do is go to All Packages and go to Checkmate Store. We're gonna go ahead and install Checkmate Store and basically what this allows you to do is bypass the fact that it won't allow you to get apps when it says this app is not compatible with this iPhone. It will bypass that and allow you to download older versions of apps. So when you go into the App Store, what will happen instead of it telling you you can't download something is it will go ahead and let you actually install an older version of the app. And therefore, I have the YouTube app for iOS 6 made by Google working as well. When you sign into it, it allowed me to go ahead and get into my channel and manage things just like you always have been able to. It actually worked really well for me. So you can see here's my channel, I'm signed into it. I can upload videos here from iOS 6 if I wanted to, and I can go ahead and use YouTube and watch videos just like I always would. So that is how you fix the YouTube apps in iOS 6, how you can get that classic YouTube app back in 2019. And I'm really excited about this. So if you enjoyed this video, if you're loving iOS 6, drop a comment down below and don't forget to go check out all the links in the description because there's a lot of cool stuff coming at you today. And uh, if you haven't done so, go ahead and Follow me on my Discord page. Again, link in the description down below. Peace.